I'll take my leave. Good day. Who was she, Ambassador? A merchant. I thought we should reach out to the dwarves to secure lyrium for the Inquisition's mages. According to Lady Corpin, it raised the ire of the Chantry. How? Access to lyrium makes us rather more formidable than anticipated. We are becoming a challenge. Sadly, the remaining Grand Clerics appear to be consolidating the Chantry's power instead of comforting the masses. Mage circles started falling years ago. The Chantry was troubled even before the Divine's murder. Yet many people continue to bear its great love. We will not benefit from its decline. Little but the Chantry ties Orlais, Nevara, Ferelden, Antiva, and even Rivain to a common cause. Has the Chantry truly promoted such peace? And Rasti's chant is familiar across kingdoms, a source of many shared customs. That is the crucial point. Common ground is the start of all negotiations. So if everyone listens to the chant, things will be smooth as silk? I did say commonality is merely a beginning, but it's an important one. We must learn to think beyond our own wants, to secure peace in Thedas. How did someone so lovely and selfless go into Orlesian politics, Lady Montelier? Well, that is, uh... <laughs> really, you give me too much credit. While you're here, I do have a question. The remaining Grand Cleric sent a missive inquiring about the events at the Temple of Sacred Ashes. They demand to know whether the Inquisition officially claims that Andraste saved you from the breach. If it were up to you, how would you reply? Will my answer change your reply to the Chantry? If Leliana, Cassandra, Cullen and I could agree on our official stance, I could answer that. We should decide soon. The revered mothers don't seem to know what to make of you. I'd tell the Chantry I was saved by circumstance, not divine intervention. Yet as rumors your Andraste's herald grow, the Grand Clerics may not believe such a humble reply. A difficult situation, and I thank you for your answer. A good day to you. <laughs>